Hello guys and welcome today I'm going to show you how to create an online auction website using Shopify. First be sure you check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a $1 for one month one time deal. So without further ado let's get going. First we are going to go over here to our product section and here we're going to click on add product. Now here we're going to start filling all the blanks with our product's information. For example, for our title, I'm going to start with my diamond ring. Here I'm going to copy my title. And for the description here, we're going to go to generate text. We're going to paste our title and we're going to click on generate. This way Shopify is going to use its built-in AI to create a description for us and here we can either choose to generate a description again or just click here on keep to keep the one we already have. For media we're going to click on upload new and here we're going to choose an image for our product. You can see that below our image we're going to have a category section. Now usually Shopify is going to choose a category for us and it's almost always going to be correct but if we click over here we can change it if we so want it. On our right we're going to have a product type, vendor collection and tax section for collections make sure you add your product to your home page and in tax you can put whichever one you like for example I'm going to put auction as one of our tags for the pricing let's say that I'm going to start my price at around 40,000 pesos and my cost per item is going to be around let's say 30,000 pesos. So this is going to uh, leave me a $10,000 profit at a 25% margin of profit. For inventory I'm just going to uncheck this because we are not going to keep track of it. And once we are done customizing our product we are going to go over here and we are going to save it. As you can see if we go back here I would have my first product uploaded ready for my online store. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on add product again and I'm going to keep uploading all of the products that I want on my online store. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm done. So as you can see here I have added a bunch of new products. For example I have added an abstract painting, a BMW M4 and an exclusive wine. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to my online store and here we're going to start to customize it. The first thing that we're going to be able to change it's going to be its theme. If we go down you can see that Shopify is going to provide us a bunch of different free link, free themes. And if we go over here we can shop for more of them. As you can see this is going to redirect us to the Shopify theme store where we're going to be able to see a lot of more themes. And now some of these themes may better suit our website but for me I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. So once we are back over here we're going to click on customize and here we would be able to change all of our sections for our website. For example if I click on this section you can see that it's going to be outlined by this blue line and here in the top left the name of the section is going to be displayed. On our right we're going to have a bunch of different options to customize our sections. For example this is our image banner and if we click over here on select add images we're going to be able to select an image to be our banner. So once it's done uploading I'm going to click on done and as you can see the image of our banner is going to change. Now uh, we can also head over here to our heading and change the text on the right. For example I'm going to put welcome to my online Oops, auction website. Now let's say that we want to add a new section to our website. What we're going to do is I'm going to go over here to add section and here we're going to have a bunch of different options to uh, add sections to our website. For example we have we're going to have featured collections, featured product, collection list, rich text, etc etc. For me I'm just going to choose a featured product and as you can see a new section is going to appear right at the bottom. Now we're going to select it and here on the right we're going to select a, a, a product to be displayed on our new section. For example I'm going to choose my abstract painting and as you can see it's going to appear right over here. Now let's say that we want to change for example the color scheme of our section and we're going put, to put a nice dark theme right over here. Another thing that can happen is that for example we have added a new section, for example the featured collection and we want to delete it. So what we're going to do is make sure you, we have the, select, the section we want to delete selected and once it's selected we're going to go over here on the bottom right and we're going to click on remove section. As you can see this is going to remove the, the section entirely. 
We can also add sections to our footer right over here. We can add an email sign up and a custom liquid. And the same goes for our header here. We can also add a custom liquid and an announcement bar. Another very important thing about our header is that right over here where it says my store, our store's name is going to be displayed. So in order to change it, what we're going to do is we're going to save our changes. We're going to exit. We're going to go to the home page of Shopify and here we're going to click on name your store and name store again. Here we're going to be able to change our store's name. For example, I'm just going to put online auction. We're going to save. And in order to make sure that everything is correct, we're going to go back to our online store. But now we are going to click on the three dots and we're going to click on preview. This is going to redirect us to our website and as you can see here on our header, our store's name is now changed. We can scroll down to make sure that everything else is set up just the way we want. And once we are done checking our website, we're going to go back over here in order to go to the analytics and marketing section. And next we're going to go over here to the analytics section. Now this is going to be a really important section for us guys because here we're going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value and many different things such as for example uh, which products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers among many many other things and uh, information which is going to really help us manage and customize our website and our business all from the same place. Lastly I wanted to show you the discount section here if we go to discount I'm going to click on add discount we are going to choose an amount of products and here we're going to be able to customize our own discount for our online store. For example, here we can choose the code. Let's say we're going to put code 101 or we can just click over here and a Shopify is going to provide us a random code for us. Below it, we can choose which kind of discount it's going to be, either a fixed amount or a percentage amount. I'm going to choose a percentage and let's say we're going to have a 10% discount. Below it, we can choose which uh, collections our discount is going to apply to. For example, um, we are going to click on Browse and I'm going to choose the products of my homepage collection. If we keep going down, you can see that we have uh, more options to further customize our discounts, such as if we need any minimum purchase requirements for it, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of uses it has, the combinations, and lastly here, if we click on set end date, we can choose an expiration date for our discount. For example, I'm going to choose the 29th and here I'm going to click save discount. Now we would have our first discount ready to either post on social media, maybe gift to a friend or just use however we would like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check the link in the description for a three days free trial of Shopify and also that $1 for one month one time deal. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.